are at the St. Lawrence Market in the gallery upstairs. And this is a history of ballet or dance in Toronto from the 1900s. Basically, the Jive Bunny was uh, a ballerina in the 50s. I was born in 52 today, April 9. And as a young, young girl, I guess we were influenced by what was going on and we became ballet dancers and tap dancers and so this this show is basically a history of dance I guess in Toronto. This is 1930 Jean McPherson and students dancing at the Heliconian Club in Yorkville. Okay, now we're going backwards actually, Toronto dancers. 1930. Okay. Just a quick overview. This one's quite interesting. The dancers from 1923, March 18th. A reproduction of a newspaper clipping from the Toronto Sunday World, March 18th, 1923, featuring a selection of Toronto dancers from the period, many of whom trained with Amy Sternberg. My God, it must be Amy Sternberg there. Okay, early performers and teachers. Stop for many of Europe's touring artists and their travels here made a significant impact on the city's cultural development. Famed Russian ballerina Annie Anna Pavlova performed at Massey Hall ten times between 1910 and 1924, and she inspired many Toronto girls to take up the art of ballet and created a demand for lessons in the city. There she is. Okay, so this is a very nice presentation. Jive Bunny reporting 24-7 at the St. Lawrence Market on my birthday. I used to be a ballerina too. One of our costumes. My mother used to make all our costumes a lot nicer than this one. This was around the time, 1976, when I was in Toronto going to art college. This one's 1952 when I was born, 1950, Wayne and Schuster, Don Gillies, on the Wayne and Schuster show. Oh, I've got to show you this makeup case. This is amazing. This is from the 1960s, the makeup case. Golden veil, baby oil to take the makeup off. Yeah, they sure don't have the makeup that we have nowadays. This is a picture of Karen Kane, very famous dancer, 1977. She retired, I believe, in even 2000, 2000 around then. 1977, National Ballet, Frank Augustine. Fifty-five, laying laying the groundwork for a dance festival. These were around when I was going to OCA as well. 1976, Toronto Modern Dance Festival poster depicting Margaret Dragu. I remember her. Everything was impressionistic. Modern dance. The Toronto Dance Theatre. And I remember Bereshnikov, but that's not him. That's Christopher House, 1979. It's quite a lovely gallery here. Again, in the 70s, 74. Dance makers. Look at there's the St. Lawrence Market. 
over there, the North Market. I'm going to be going out there in the Canadian flag. <laughs> okay. Look at their building. That, that's the old St. Lawrence Hall. They're renovating everything. It's just unbelievable here in the city. 1977. Dance Makers. Siddhartha, 1976. The 1970s dance school. I guess that's where it ends. Okay, so Jay Funny reporting 24-7 at the St. Lawrence Market.